Uh, I'm Sergeant Sean Thrush uh, with the Toronto Police Dog Services Unit. It's really a unique experience. Uh, you develop a bond that's quite unlike anything else. Uh, you get to work with a partner who's always excited and happy to come to work. Um, the calls that you get to do are generally quite interesting and very exciting uh, and we get uh, opportunities to engage with all of the 16 divisions in the service, uh, a lot of the investigative support units and meet a lot of people within all the different communities within our city. The Toronto Police Dog Services Unit utilizes a number of different breeds, uh, most commonly the German Shepherd, uh, Belgian Malinois uh, breed, as well as Labrador Retrievers and uh, Springer Spaniels. Uh, the disciplines that the dogs are trained in, uh, every handler here has what's called a general purpose dog, and that dog is trained in finding fresh human scent. So that would be something like tracking a suspect who's fled a crime scene, uh, apprehending an armed or a fleeing suspect, uh, locating evidence or property that may have been discarded uh, by a suspect and on occasion helping to find missing people. Uh, we also have drug detection dogs trained in a number of different narcotic odors, firearms detection dogs, explosive detection dogs, um, and cadaver detection dogs for finding human remains. Uh, additionally, we have search and rescue dogs through our heavy urban search and rescue, uh, HUSAR program, which is a program developed, a national program developed after 9-11. And these dogs are utilized in assisting to find missing people as well as locating people in disaster situations such as a building collapse or other emergency. Uh, it's, you know what, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. I mean, you, you develop a very strong and unique bond. Um, as an ex-handler once put it to me, uh, working with the dog means you always get to drive and choose where to eat. Uh, so that part is good. Uh, they're always in a good mood and happy to come to work. Uh, and everyone is usually uh, happy to see the dog. So having a working dog becomes a bit of a lifestyle because the dog lives uh, and works with the handler. Uh, the dog uh, usually gets to just be a dog on the days off, exercise, play, be part of the family, and then come to work and, uh, and do what they're trained to do.